breaking news! It all started on a small beach in Bali, Indonesia during a professional surfboard riding competition. When eventual event winner, Joel Paco Parkinson, warmed up for his heat. It's called the Paco. Paco, Paco, Paco. 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 That's right, P-A-R-K-O. Paco. What started as a simple stretch to take out the competition has turned into a worldwide epidemic. Everybody's doing the Paco. It's believed to have a euphoric effect that gives its users the illusion of being a world championship professional surfer. I just do the parka because it's so nutritious. It makes me feel so good! Well, they weren't doing the parka here in China first, but the parka really changed my life. Yeah, parka really saved my sex life. As shown here, doing the parka has a very serious effect of making a user become cocky or even overscored. After performing the parka on the beach, Joel Parkinson himself got two perfect tens at a heat in Karambas. This is unheard of and obviously the direct effect of using the parka, parka, parka. Coming in, a man from New Jersey has this to say. It's just too dangerous. It's just not safe. They're doing it everywhere. They're doing it in the mall. They're doing it at Wild. They're doing it at casinos. It's just not safe. My prediction, people caught doing the Paco in public should be condemned to death. We've just intercepted an interview with the creator of the Paco himself, Joel Paco Parkinson. The only way you're going to get Paco is a really hard bottom turn. It may help you surf. It may help you think you're a world champ, but it's not gonna stop Mick Fanning from taking the world championship tour ratings lead. So people of Earth, if you're doing the Paco, Paco with style. Nub TV.